and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Poisson and this is the Poisson channel. So welcome to the family. In today's video we're doing the week by week update, pregnancy update, and we're doing week number eight and this is such an exciting week because I went to get my ultrasound, my first ultrasounds. I'll show you guys some clips and videos in between or at the end of the video of us getting the ultrasound. So let's dive into what happened this week. We're gonna begin with the baby development. We're using what to expect at, what to expect when you're expecting. We're eight weeks pregnant, we have 32 weeks to go, and the baby is the size of a raspberry. Let's check it out. The baby's growing fast. Your baby is growing at an amazing rate. How she's measuring up this week at a length of a half to a quarter, three quarters of an inch right now. Your little one has graduated from blueberry size to raspberry size, but how big is baby? It's hard to estimate. Through growth occurs at about the rate of a millimeter a day, it isn't necessarily just in height. So the sprouts can happen like with the arms, the legs, the back, and other parts of the tiny body, meaning big changes are coming every which way in the next few months. We are eight weeks pregnant, two months in our pregnancy, only seven months to go. Baby has lips, a nose, and eyelids this week. The heart rate is at an incredible rate of between 150 to 170 times per minute minute, roughly twice as fast as our heartbeat. And even though you can't feel it yet, the baby is making spontaneous movements as, as they twitch their tiny trunk and limbs. And the baby digs your amniotic fluid. Volume is increasing. The amniotic fluid is what protects the baby. And your womb is expanding to accommodate its growth tenant. So that is the update. Morning sickness. While your baby isn't exactly causing you to show yet, chances are your clothes are feeling tight. For me, that is a definitely, definitely happening. Because your uterus you know like is expanding it's growing your uterus is usually the size of a fist now that the baby is going in there your uterus is just gonna expand but let's see what else we have it's just talking about nausea fruit is always your friend during pregnancy it says eating fruit during pregnancy consider fruit your best friend it's a natural sweetener but it has a lot of vitamins and minerals where we typically when we're nauseous that we can't intake the baby science is baby blue sea green coffee brown like what color is your baby's gonna be most likely 95 99% our baby's gonna have brown eyes because I have brown eyes and my husband has brown eyes you won't see your baby's eyes for a while but this week the retinas have begun to form so the baby is slowly growing this is like where you could do some baby predictions if you wanted to pregnancy things that you don't want to do and how big your baby is and whatnot so that is the overall update of week number eight the baby is a raspberry. For bodily changes, I have nothing that changed this week. For symptoms, I am super tired. I'm still not at the energy level. Like I know when I'm talking to you, you probably think I have a lot of energy, but I am filming this at a different time as well. My energy is very low. I'm tired. Like I overall don't feel it, like feel myself 100% if that makes sense. The emotions that I'm going through, I'm definitely emotional this week. I just had my friend's virtual memorial and it was in Arizona at my school, my acupuncture school in Phoenix, Arizona. I was able to do the memorial virtually, which was really great that I was able to be there virtually. It was kind of hard to hear. Yeah, so I'm still, you know, doing the, the process of grieving, really trying to stay happy because of the baby, but it's kind of hard to balance those emotions out when you, you know, have a loss. So I'm still working on that or I'm still, you know, processing, feeling sad. And I'm also feeling a lot of resistance because of going to the ultrasound. I want a home birth and I didn't want a hospital birth. It's just having multiple doctors and just the overall situation for me personally, I have resistance of going. And just knowing that I won't get exactly how I want my hospital birth to be, which would be with a female doctor because we do have a male doctor on staff. That is just related to past trauma that I've had and I would really like it if I could choose my doctor but unfortunately I can't. This week we also did because it's you know Halloween we did the Fort Poisson night and we also we did you know like we set up a tent and watched Harry Potter. We always watch Harry Potter during how 
Halloween season during October. I know this video is going up later than it originally was supposed to, but that is what was happening around week number eight. And as well, we went to the doctors, like I said before, our first ultrasound, we saw our little raspberry and it was so cute and so tiny. The heartbeat was 155 heart rate. So the baby had a very good heartbeat. The first appointment is the vaginal ultrasound. For recent purchases, there is nothing that I bought. So this week was, you know, a low key week overall with weekly update information for you guys at eight weeks. Hello everyone. Devin and I are on going to the hospital for our appointment, the doctors, and we're going to our first ultrasound. It's the vaginal ultrasound. So let's go. I'm super tired, but I'm excited to see the baby. Doesn't feel real. Here we go. The baby. A doctor waiting for the doctor that I'd never met. Yay! Just a baby picture. See, okay, and then we'll do the vaginal portion. So, with the vaginal ultrasound, um, I'll go as slowly as you need to go, mm -hmm. stop when you need to stop, and you just let me know, okay? This is the gel. So already you can see that this is your bladder, this is your vagina, and your uterus. And right up at the top of your uterus is a little tiny thing that we're going to get a better look at. Time to get ready. Okay, ready? Let's see if I can get this guy to work. Nope. Okay, sorry. You're fine. Tell already the baby's heartbeat is happy and healthy, okay? Everything that happened this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Hit the like button if you did and if you like this style of video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys in my next video.